go. Good morning. This is the Life Motivation. We are the entrepreneurs from across the world that come in here each day to bring you inspiration, love, tips, and tricks. The love started with us today, so our cup overfilled. Today's message that I want to talk about the most is happiness, that happy place. You know, many times people, they will plan their vacations and that months and months in advance and that happiness of the unfolding of that one day getting ready to either go on the cruise or go on the road trip or, you know, go do the different things that they're going to do within life. They plan that trip down to a T of the excursion they're going to take, the clothes that they bought they was excited for to be able to wear, the pretty little hats that they're going to wear while they're on the vacation to keep the sun off their head, the nice little flip-flops or sandals that they, they bought. It was all an excitement of unfolding and when you see a countdown of seven days and they're at work and they say seven days before we go on the cruise or seven days before vacation and then you see they start doing a countdown all the way to that one day and that whole time they're happy within their self and within life. Then they go on this vacation and they're happy as hell. They've got seven days away from life and reality and they don't have to worry about anything. Now what if you could have that happiness every single day, the entire part of your life and not just when you plan a vacation or go on that vacation. That happiness that you have harnessed within yourself just for that vacation time, why don't you start planning your life that well? Why don't you have that happiness for the unfolding of the goals that you're trying to accomplish within your life? and have the fun and the happiness each day of the unfolding of the betterness that you're doing within you. Whether it's a new home that you're going for and you're riding around for four to six hours each day trying to find the piece of property or that right home in the new location. Taking that energy of happiness of knowing that I am going to find that right piece today. I'm going to find that property that I want. I'm going to find that home that fits me and that I like. I see that front door and I love the way it looks. I see the landscaping on the front of the house and that's exactly what I want. Same thing that we did with our vacations, start doing it with your life. If you're going and moving yourself and elevating in education to do something different for a career path, are you having fun seeing the outcome of knowing what you're going to accomplish? You know, because I was only making 60000 a year now. Once I get this education, then maybe my income level is going to go to over 100000 once I get these certifications or diplomas or, or whatever, you know. Why aren't you happy through that unfolding instead of saying, oh, man, i got to go to class again today. I've got to go do this training again today. Ah, uh, Why don't you look at the happy outcome of where it is going to bring you of the more monetary funds that's going to come into your home so you can elevate your life into a whole different direction. Building a business is just the same way. Are you not excited each day when you get up to start building your business to be able to have the rapport and the conversations with new people every day? Why don't you have that excitement? Because it is, and too many people have the fear instead. Instead of having the fear to talk to others about a business, instead of having the fear to talk to a stranger about something that is, is totally out of the norm, have the excitement and that fun and that happiness within your heart to let that unfold. Because that is that joy that you put right here within your heart that you are the one that suppresses that happiness at times because things aren't flowing the way that you think they should, then you may need to evaluate a little bit. Because if that flow is not in that happy state, in that happy vibration, or that happy disc that I talk about, because that elevation, once you get into that happiness of on, being on vacation, have that happiness every day of life. Because you can enjoy this journey of everything that you're doing. Getting up and having the passion to do what you do like Carol does, working with animals every day. I've asked her many times, is there something else that you could probably do that would bring a little bit more joy to your life? And she says, no, these animals is what brings joy to my life. Being able to see the things that I can do for them and the places and seeing how I can inform other people of how to correctly take care of an animal. Because many people take animals for granted. They throw them off on a page or, or a, kin, a pen and are just on a chain outside with a little bitty box or we have someone that we know that has got an animal and they keep them in a basement in a cage all day and they let them out just for a period of time each day how would you like to be locked up in a cage each day in the darkness we don't do we we like our life to be in happiness we like our life to be in the light guess what that light that i talk about each day that power that i talk about each day is within you 
And once you start harnessing that power that you have within you, that brings that happiness each day because you are the one that is letting it unfold. When you wake up with that joy in your heart, when you wake up for the excitement of what you're going to do, when you wake up for the passion of life in itself and waking up with the love that you have within yourself, then the life will unfold even more and more each day of joy and happiness. And the smiles that you have on your face are contagious every day. The people that you meet, the people that you cross, guess what? They will see that smile. And if you want to test it out, go to the grocery store, walk around with a smile on your face and never even say a word, but you're smiling as that person is coming to you. You're looking to them in the eyes as you pass with that cart and you just smile at them. Say, I hope you're having a good day and you keep walking. Now, guess what? You're going to pass them on another aisle and guess what? They're going to see you at the end of the aisle and they're already going to start smiling. It is a fun thing to do. Bringing joy to people's life has inspired me to do even more within mine. To be able to know that I'm doing something and not asking people for anything in return has brought more back to me tenfold in abundance than I could have ever imagined within my life. I was always trying to kick down the door and always trying to solve other people's problems for so long when I was listening to conversations. Now I listen to conversations and the person will solve their own, they'll have their own solution to what they think is a problem. Things are problems. All they are is a situation and there is solutions for every situation that's out there. If we stop and think about it long enough, because we have the most powerful machine, the most powerful computer that has ever been built. Each one of us was born with a source energy. Each one of us was born with this creative brain that you have right upside. Now, harness that brain and start using more percentages of that brain and not in that lack of mindset that we have been taught from eight, eight years of age into where you are now. You have been reprogrammed in life to work for other people. You've been reprogrammed in life to follow their, their norm of what they want to call normal. You, we have been programmed to live our life for others instead of living our life for us first. You know, because it is in the book that it tells us, live for you, live for the happiness within you. Then the joy that you can fill your cup up will overflow to others and then you will be able to bring joy to, to others around you. Not by solving their problems, not by telling them how to live their life, not telling them that they need to do this and that every day. The only thing that we want you to do each day is to wake up, tell yourself that you love you, and go enjoy that beautiful day that's out there behind you. You can see the beautiful sunshine behind Ricky. You can see the beautiful greenery behind Ricky. What is he doing? He is connecting right now while he is out here with us to be able to enjoy what he has surrounding him. He has been able to understand life in a different realm of many that we could probably never understand. Why? Because he knows what true happiness is. He knows it within him and he knows how to spread it around. A lot of people that you see on the screen are starting to awaken themselves into a new realm of life. It has taken us a little bit of time to unlock and rewire what we have been taught for so many years. To be able to come in here and tell y'all to love yourself is not something normal that you're going to hear at school or anywhere else throughout this countryside. But in here, and with Power On Movement with Adrian, he says the same thing all the time. Love yourself first. Go in the mirror and say it as many times as you need to until you feel it. And once you can start feeling your own love that you have within you, the rest will unfold. The joy that you see out there because you will now be able to enjoy everything that's around you. You will enjoy the people that are around you. Yes, will there be people that you dislike because either the way that they're living their life, you're not a judge, let them live their life. You know, let them do what they have to do, they will figure it out themselves. If they want to change, they will make a change. Other than that, we cannot change people. The only person that we can change is the one that you're looking at in the mirror. That is the one that has all the demons within it. That is the one that has all the voices that you need to listen to. Right there, enjoying and unfolding all of that is what it's all about it is a day-to-day -day basis that we enjoy life a day-to-day -day basis that you can enjoy the unfolding not today For affordable health insurance. hey do y'all want health insurance we love that too don't you, you how do y'all like uh, 
all these little calls that you get on the phone calls that mean nothing because it's, I don't need health insurance. I've already got it. I don't need other car insurance. I already got it. But you, we love that all the time, don't you? Hey, they're reaching out because these phone numbers, your email addresses, everything is public notice right there to the world. So don't get mad at them when they come in. They're just trying to do a job just as well, you know, because they like that online calling, you know, stuff. We are doing something different within our life and having that happiness of everything that unfolds is all I want y'all to do. Today, I'm going to open up the floor to anybody in here that may have a message of happiness or something that they're going through within their life that helped them assist to shift the happiness. Just raise your hand and I'll call you out. Anybody in here got anything on happiness that they want to bring up today? So everybody is in a happy mood. Everybody knows how to get into it. Everybody has been able to take care of it. I love it. So everybody is on a perfect flow today. Go ahead, Marilyn. Marilyn, you want to talk? This is Angela. Oh, Angela, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there someone else? I can only see me. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to say hi. Sorry I jumped on late. Um, I, I really enjoy your motivational um, stuff every morning. It's a great way to start the day, and you always have something positive that gets me going. Um, I'm going to – I didn't – I wasn't able to go in and complete everything last night again because we had another storm. Did you guys have a storm where you're at? Oh my gosh. We're just getting pounded over here in Brownwood, Texas. <laughs> but uh, I'm a go after we get off the phone, I'm going to go complete it. I've got good signal now, so I'll get that finished up and we're done. Awesome deal. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for showing up with us today and, and having fun within life. Uh, Miss Benita's got her hand up when she comes back in the screen. There she is. <laughs> I was over here getting my water for the day. Oh, I just want to say happiness is a choice. I mean, we can choose to be uh, sad and depressed and down in the dumps, or we can do that mind shift thing that we that we learn so well to do. And, you know, look at the other side of things. Um, personally, I try to shift. If I see that I'm going, oh, man, shit, I got to get up today. I don't really want, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God, what an awesome day this is. I get to get up, I get to be in charge, I get to go out and I get to, you know, encourage somebody else's life. And it is, it's just a, it's just a mind shifting that, that we have to do. Or we can choose to stay in the dumps, you know, cause life happens like that. We want to wallow in it. Get your ass up, stop wallowing and stuff and keep on getting on. Get to the other side. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you happy? Awesome. Yes. Just get up. It's a choice that we make every day. You can be that grumpy old man or that grumpy old woman. Yes. That's a choice. But like she said, she could lay in bed and either procrastinate and dwell on the day of having to get up. And yes, our body sometimes says, I want to lay here for another hour. Please let me lay here for a couple more hours. And before you know it, half the day is gone. And then you wake up, you're complaining that the day is gone and you haven't got anything accomplished. So like she said, get up you know as an entrepreneur i don't have to get up at 6 30 every day like i do but i choose to because it gets my day started it gets me started i am able to do 30 minutes of gym before i get into this meeting every day and now my energy level is up i am ready to roll and now i feel accomplished with what i have done how many of you actually wake up and make your bed in the morning or at least fold the blankets up where it's nice and neat hmm that right there will put a self of accomplishment within your life right there. That's the one thing that I was always wondering in the military. Why do I have to make this dadgum bed if we're fixing to get up and go marching for 20 miles and then I've got to go eat and then we're going to go do this and then I'm going to come back and crawl up in this baby because I'm tired as hell, you know? But yet that was one of the things that they did because they wanted you to show respect within yourself and within that bed being made, you're showing respect within you. Folding your clothes very nice and neatly every day and putting them away is a respect within you and what you have. Same thing with your vehicle, guys. I find more people keep their vehicle more shiny, more cleany, clean and bling blingy than they do their own house. Why is that? You know? 
they have more respect for a vehicle than they do with their living. And I love it when people walk around and say, I don't have money to be able to, to build a business. I don't have money to be able to purchase machines. I don't have money to do this. But you look down at their feet and they got a $200 pair of shoes on. They got a hundred and something dollar pair of jeans on. They got a 200 and something dollar jacket on. They got some gold chains or some nice jewelry on. Then you're wondering, really? Priorities are different in life. What is your true priority that you want you to go to? Have respect within you, have love within you, and then you watch your life shift into a whole different direction because you're giving respect in every aspect of your life, not just portions of it. Respect everything that you have. Ms. Crystal, let's see your hand up. Yeah, I wanted to touch on what you were saying about, you know, having an immaculate car, but a disaster zone in your house. I think what it is, is a lot of people try to portray their perfect life outside in public eye, right? Just like we were talking about the other day about everybody on social media. Don't compare yourself to them because that's false. You know, that's a false a representation of who people truly are. And I can hold truth to that because when I'm taking a picture, I'm like, okay, here's my photo. And I got to make sure that, oh, yeah, the light's the best here. So my eyes aren't dark and my bags aren't showing. And, you know, like it's, we drive our cars out by other people. Uh, not as many people come in and see our house and see how disastrous our lives truly are. <laughs> so I have to say that, you know, like not only do these talks every morning really encourage you know, my personal growth and my mind growth and, and just, you know, like self-accomplishment, but it has totally helped me be like, okay, focus on one thing at a time. It's, it's helped me with my task orientation. It's helped me with uh, um, not only my own personal growth, but as the stories I've shared with you guys, my kids, um, my son is, uh, like I was saying earlier, my, he's been very emotional lately. And, uh, and so I've had to take some times and do a little bit more physical contact with him and, um, you know, like really show him that, you know, like it's okay to feel these emotions and it's okay to process these things. Um, so it, it, it's, it's all kind of a learning game, this thing we call life <laughs> and, uh, some win and have no problem at, at winning in this life game and some struggle until the day that they pass and uh it, it's just what shoes you put on your feet that day is what's going to dictate how your life goes and so put on those shiny shoes and and walk a path of positivity because uh it, it's definitely easier i live the life of a struggle i live the life of making up lies to try and you know cover situations I made that weren't the best choices and then those lies just snowball and you know I've had my own personal trouble and and made very wrong bad choices in my past um and now looking at myself here I catch myself still trying to fall into those um things it's like somebody says something and you want to make them happy so I'm going to try and say this because it's going to make you happy and it's going to take the the direction off of me and and then everyone can move on but by me saying this it's a false it's not be, me being true and so it, there's there's a lot of minor things i didn't realize i was doing to myself then i noticed over the last couple months and i've really put a stop to it so yeah that's it you noticed it and you started being able to harness it and understand it and grasp it and say, okay, this, ah, ha, I don't have to deal with that anymore. I don't have to keep dwelling on that anymore. And with that learning, as we're going, we're figuring out the situations of life that we don't want in us. We don't want around us. And we're able to find the happy place within it instead. That's the unfolding of the beautiful things that we have within our life. The unfolding of this journey, instead of making it so difficult, waking up and enjoying every moment of it. Yes, there will be situations come up, but you evaluate that situation to see if it's yours that you need to deal with, or is it someone else's that they're trying to deal with? So if they need to deal with it, all you can do is be a friend, be a shoulder, be an ear, because they will have to figure out their process themselves. Now, if you have been through some of that before, or something like that, then you can give advice of what you did 
to assisted you, then they can look into that process to see if that would benefit them or if they could utilize that. You know, we was talking about the Awaken event this morning that we went to in Vegas that helped break us down with inside, our mental side, our physical side, the fears that we had, you know, sitting up here that we can now release, different things like that. That's all we're asking you to do each day is awaken you. Awaken the power that you have within and harness that power. Because that power that you have, that light that you have, it can't be bought at Walmart. It can't be bought over Amazon. It can't be stolen from you because it's within inside of you. Now, as you're unlocking this happiness and you're walking around with these smiles and this joy within your life, there's nothing that's going to stop you from doing anything that you want to accomplish. You know, it was a beautiful day yesterday for me to be able to take care of this meeting yesterday morning, take care of three clients that had contacted me the day before, and then I was able to drive an hour and a half to my mom's and go mow five acres in a beautiful sky that I've ever seen, the beautiful clouds that was out there, to be able to smell that beautiful grass that I was cutting, the smell of it, I love it. But to be able to do that now versus what I had done, you know, in my entire life of working construction and never being home, I was very thankful and blessed yesterday with the gratitude that I have the abilities to go and do the things that I can do anytime in my life. It opened up a whole new round for me to be an entrepreneur to work for myself. And many of y'all are entrepreneurs within here and many other people that are coming to become entrepreneurs. Just know that it is a journey that you're unfolding the things that you truly wanted within your life. To be able to go after those things and those places, to be able to meet the people and you know the vacations that you never even thought you'd be able to handle or be able to go to. But to now to be able to do that. It brings a bigger happiness within your life. That's what we want everybody to have is that joy, that happiness every day. That's why we do these messages in here every day. A lot of people say, how do you have the content every day? It's life. I promise you. That's why we talk about life motivation. I hear people's situations all the time, which allows me to have other conversations within here in the morning times. We keep unfolding and keep bringing in our lives into a new direction. If y'all keep getting better and better, then guess what? I won't have much to talk about anymore. I will be the one that's being able to sit back as y'all talk on here and bring out the information to others. Because you're becoming a better leader within your life, giving better respect to you and more love to you. And then with that right there, you're unfolding something that you never even thought you could do. Marilyn first started talking to me. She wanted to see how she could do something different within her life with her business and a different movement. I told her to start taking those slogans and put them on some shirts. So what did she do? She started designing some shirts with her slogans and her logos to bring something different to other people to start asking questions on how they could shift their life. There's always something different that we can do, a different creative idea that you have to think outside the box, to be that entrepreneur of marketing. Because every day we get in here and we market different things for, you know, products and services. In life, do y'all know that y'all are all marketers yourself already before you even become a digital marketer? Because if ever you have had an air conditioner shop come to your house and do a service, and then you told a buddy about that air conditioner shop that came and did a great job, you were marketing for that company right there. Didn't know it. Had a plumber come to your house. Landscaping, lawn service, painter come to your house, sheet rockers, whatever it is. If you referred them people you're a marketer. So now to know that what we offer to become a marketer, you're already one. So now to let us show you how to harness the power of social media to how you can become a marketer just like we are. How you can understand the digital world and how this all truly works and not instead of just scrolling through social media like a lot of people have done. I know I was there three years ago till I dove in to find something different within my life. And I found the happiness that made me happy. I found a way that I could make my vacations happen every day. That happiness that I was talking about vacations earlier. Now my life is that way every day. I want everybody to feel the same energy. I want everybody to build their dreams. I want everybody to build an empire because the passion that you have behind it will unfold so much more. Keep up the passion. Keep up the happiness. I want to thank everybody that's come out this morning. We're going to wrap this baby up with Miss Shannon this morning. 
Good to see you, Ryan and Patrick in here this morning. Good to see y'all. Ryan, how have you been? Uh, before we get to Shannon, I'll pass it on to you. I know you've been uh, out for a few days. Yeah, busy, busy. Wasn't able to hop on yesterday. Find a few minutes out during break to hop on at the end, so grateful for that. Get to hear Shannon's affirmation, so. That's it. Love you all. Yes. Ryan usually reads a, a book for us, but he's been taking care of some other situations and, and things that he's been doing within his life. So it's uh, taking him away from us a little bit. But just remember, guys, reading is power. That is knowledge that you can have within your head that will move you to a total different realm. I seen a post this morning. I don't know if y'all had seen it. It was a husband had come home from fishing, but the lady, uh, the wife wanted to go out on the lake. So she took the boat. She drove it out on the lake, and she anchored it, and she grabbed her book, and she started reading. Game warden come up and said that, you're in a restricted fishing area. She said, I'm not fishing. I'm just reading. Isn't that obvious? And he said, well, ma'am, you can start fishing at any time. You have all the equipment. He said, if you don't move out of this area, I'll have to take you in and, and citate you and give you a ticket. And she said, well, I'm going to you know, say that's sexual harassment. Well, how is that sexual harassment? Because if you take me in, you have the equipment and you may want to use that at any time. So anyway, game warden drove away. And at the end of it, it said, never challenge a woman that's reading a book because she has more knowledge than you do. So power is within the books. Read them. The magic is awesome. Happy pocket full of money. And the, the, the power just from, you know, Rhonda Bryant as well. She has a whole series of the secret. Read them. Because the reading can bring your life into a whole different direction. Did I like to read in school? No. Did I like to read when I got out of school? No. I read manuals and books that I had to do for my job, but yet it wasn't something that I you know, wanted to do, but it made me more knowledgeable. It made me to where I could be the best safety consultant that was out there. I made sure that my business and my team that I had when I was a safety consultant in that organization, that everybody knew the policies, the procedures, the OSHA plans, everything that we was working for in the company to make us the best team that was out there. And now what are we doing here? We're offering more stuff, information to people to make you the best people out there. The best version of you on a day-to-day -day basis. That's all we want for everybody. It's to be your best. Bring your best in everything that you do. So, Ms. Shannon, you ready to wrap us up? All right. Guys, she reads the power affirmations that she writes from the heart as the meeting is going on. The power of that pen of writing your own affirmations when you wake up in the morning, you will find it will start shifting your life. And with those affirmations right there, you can go back and read them throughout the day when you start feeling a little bit more down. Go back and read your own words that you gave to yourself this morning. The power of that pen and that notebook that she carries around and now has got more notebooks just piled up and piled up because she has been doing this every day for us. So if you're not driving, you have a moment to take a deep breath. Take that deep breath. Receive the information because that's all we've asked for y'all to do every morning is to receive the information that is given. And if it applies, rock it. If it doesn't, you're already there. Awesome deal. But if not, this will assist. Go ahead, Ms. Shannon. Morning, everybody. I shall no longer allow negative thoughts or feelings to drain me of my energy. Instead, I shall focus on all the good that is in my life. I will think it, feel it, and speak it. By doing so, I will send out positive vibes of energy into the world, and I shall be grateful for all the wonderful things it will attract into my life. The most powerful part of that, I will be grateful for everything that it attracts into my life. Gratitude for everything that you have within life. Enjoy it, guys. Thank you all for all coming out today. We'll see you all tomorrow.